Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I want to talk to you about star seeds, color rays, and the divine masculine. There's a reason for you to know this. Inquiring minds want to know, right? Well, actually, if you're new to this, you might want to know. Welcome to my channel. My channel is Twin Flame Reconnection, All Things Twin Flames how to get your brand new twin flame body going so you can be together. Okay, let's get into this. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is something called color race. Now, you may hear things of people out there saying things like, I'm a gold ray. I say I'm a blue ray because I am a blue ray. Interestingly enough, blue was my favorite color as a kid. I didn't know why, but I could almost immerse myself in that. Now I know why. Other people feel a different expression. This is an expression, but why is this? Well, it has a lot to do with this incarnation, how you got in here, how you wrote in, not just your parents, okay? Because some of us can have really crappy parents. They might be our karmic burden to bear. Some of us can have parents that, eh, we would have chosen something differently, right? And some of us have fabulous parents, right? You think it's a roll of the dice. Oh, no, it was part of your agreement to land or to be incarnated kind of in the best environment for you to conclude your karma. Even if that was by, you know, putting yourself in and like popping it out real good. So what does this mean? The color rays? You're riding in on a beam of light and color. Now, when you see color rays, it could be similar to white light going through a prism where the light gets refracted into its different colors. The reason for this is that each color is a different wavelength and vibration, and even within the colors, there's variations. But for us, each color is a soul expression and it can be more than one color. And these colors have significance because it pertains to your gifts, it pertains to part of your purpose, okay? So these pertain to dimensional points of origin and your purpose. A lot of people have that question. They will say, what's my mission? They will not always know what their mission is, but they feel very compelled inside about the fact that they have a mission. They're here on the mission. Or if you feel like you're being prompted to do something like I do, you might say to yourself, today I'm on the mission, okay? Hard to explain to other people around us that you could be on the mission or you're feeling guided to go somewhere because you're on the mission and there's some reason that your soul expression, your essence, your vibration is needed right there and today, right? And there's a way to cooperate with this because we are reweaving things here and you're a big part of this. Now, another reason for the color ray, okay, and I don't want you to think that this is anything other than colors because it's very different in the upper realms, in the upper planes, in another dimension. But it is an equal chance for men, for women, for every color here, every that includes every race, every ethnicity, etc. Now, you may be upset at certain things that happen that are injustices, and we all should be upset about injustice. However, is how you incarnated part of your karmic clearing, part of your karmic healing, part of your karmic repayment, balancing? Yes, it is. Okay, it's also sometimes a favorite. However, how you clear this is what is your soul's expression actually bringing in and doing it? For example, you could have someone who is of a certain ethnicity, but they're a musician and they're giving back to everyone through their music. It's lyrics. You all know those people that come up with the best lyrics ever and then we repeat these and this is how we get our music messages. We know that that person is not our twin flame, but somehow they've given us a way 
through their soul expression for it to be expressed and we feel it. And the difference is we know it's from our twin and not from that person. That person created it because their twin flame is their muse, is their inspiration. Okay. Now let's get to star seeds. Star seeds. Star seeds are twin flame whose growth and expansion has been stunted. Okay. And I want to say something too. Stop hitting your kids. You're stunting their chakras. Okay. We got to all stop this kind of, you know, violent stuff, but people still do it. People have been hurt this way or not be able to grow, but this has happened in other levels too. And not by being hit by other really like strong forces. Just imagine something breaking apart and it affects your etheric body. It's so forceful, right? So the growth is stunted, unable to mature. Now, I'm not talking about emotional maturity, but that could be a part of it. I'm talking about the maturity that happens uh, similar to ripe fruit. That fruit is matured. The person is ripened, more fully developed, juicier, deeper, right? All those things that you want in your twin flame. And people attribute this to men particularly. Well, they're unable to mature. They're immature. Let me tell you something. I've done readings for years for people, and I can detect and feel how the male twin flame is waking up. A lot of times they're woken up early on, but have no context for it. You know why? Because of this. It has to be that way so that both people can get going with their journey. It can start in teenager years. It could start in childhood. And it's like out of context. Your priest doesn't have any answers for you. Uh, some of your leaders or your parents, they won't have answers for you. Maybe they're going to wake up after you. So this has to do with what happened. It's involuntary. Okay, it's not people's fault that they are a starseed twin flame who couldn't fully develop. You're in a place now where you've been rescued, you've been brought, you've been helped. You've been literally spirited away to have an incarnation here so that you can do this. That is also your agreement. So no shirking that. You know, you have to make this very, very um, easy. This is what I'm going to say. Easy ways to wake up your twin. We've got those. Okay. It's not esoteric. It's actually a new light body thing. And we have easy ways to get this done. So the star seeds, what star systems are you from? For the most part, a lot of people hear things about the Pleiades. Pleiades is a very strong star system where things happened, where the growth was stunted, where there were battles and stuff. People don't think about that because why? The force of love has been used on a lot of us so that we don't remember the bad stuff. Emotionally, you may have these feelings come up. Time to get the garbage out. Time to purge it. But time to open further. Okay. So what star systems are you from? What monad are you from? These are all interlocking things that make a difference for you in terms of the scope of this, in terms of keeping you going, in terms of understanding who you really are, not just your being of light, but really like there's a little bit more detail to it than that. And it's really fun to know this. It's really even more fun to see it and experience it. So let's talk about the divine masculine. When I inquire about this, and this was a little ways back, the words I got, this is a military expression. Not that the men are in the military, okay? Divine masculine is an energy. It's an energetic, yes, carried by a lot of men. It's, for many men, they're primary energetic, but there's also divine feminine and males and females and intersex people can have this. But the expression I got, if you are knowing anything about the military, this is called pulling up the rear. That's the expression I got. 
the phrase. What does that mean? Well, in the military, what this means is that when everyone pulls out and starts to either march home or go to another area, there's some that are behind. They're the last ones to go. They're pulling out last. Okay. This is what the divine masculine energy is doing. It's like supporting and supporting and going, get your foothold, get your foothold. Come on, get it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Do it. Leap forward. Take that baby step forward in your ascension. Okay. And bringing closure to the old paradigm. Now this does baffle men because if they have uh, some kind of awakening experience early on and it's out of context, maybe they dreamed it, maybe they had a waking experience, it happens in various ways. A lot of it happens through a higher level dream time at which point they start stepping down their energy to work on their awakening here. But what happens with the closure? Well, it gets very baffling because people can feel like doors are being closed on them. The rug is being pulled out. They have all these compartments of their lives. They have categories for things. And then they're finding those things of the mind just don't work anymore. And they can feel a little crazy. Not going to lie. Okay. Do you want your twin flame to feel like this? Okay, because on another level, it's raw, but we are rough and ready. Like we're ready. Okay, you got to be ready to roll up your sleeves and do this. How do you do it? Really? We do it through using your divine connections, not your ego mind. We do it by using your divine connections and opening that up through breath work movement and non-physical movement that means engagement of your light body and i teach this and you can do it you can do this you're gonna like how you feel and utilizing things such as your dream time now to help with that heavy lifting yes i do recommend supplements to help you during certain patches i do recommend use of essential oils and we we kiss it. That means I keep it simple and sweet. We focus on the love, focus on the love, focus on the love, focus on the love. Because if you were to remember some of the things that you've seen, would that be a distraction to you? Is it like watching a car accident over and over and over? Okay. The news media does that to us. Like keep looping until we're just like, and then we can't think, guess what happens? That's in front of you. And what's not in front of you is your twin flame. Okay. You want to live, eat, and breathe stuff about your twin flame to do this. Because that's how it goes easier. It goes smoothly. And we make it fun. We make it doable. And I invite life question and answer. So are you seeing some channels that maybe there's no one to contact i'm not hiding i'm right here i'm in chicago i've had people recognize me at the grocery store which that's a little bit um i would say very fun for me but um people say like i know you and i'm like oh but i don't know you but maybe i know you from another level because thank you for watching so we are having a webinar in three parts starting September 8th. I hope that you're able to join us. Please look at the links below or email me. All of those links are below. My website, my email, the link for the webinar. We are here to help. If you've been sitting on the sidelines sort of like wondering what to do, try it. You will only gain through your light body and you will get closer. This is our objective. Full togetherness. Not a whole bunch of people who get woken up and think like, what did they wake me up for? I want to go back to the way it was. No, you want to move forward because a lot of things are closing behind you. Okay? And things get better. There is a much better level of living i call it the ascended level of living we get you there and people wait for the shoe to drop 
it doesn't drop. And you feel like it's lifting you from your heart, your mind. Honest to God, you could feel like a little bit ditzy. And as long as your heart connected, things roll along for you. That's such a paradox. But it's happened for me and it can happen for you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you there. Please join us and have a great day. Bye.